So you want to be a reptile YouTuber. Hey, I get it. You want to work with the animals you love while living in the absolute lap of luxury like all of us large creators do. You got 17,000 subs, bro. It's not that serious. However, before you can embark on the amazing dream that it is to be a reptile YouTuber, you have to figure out what your niche is gonna be within that subcategory. That's right guys, it's not just reptile YouTubing. You don't just film reptiles anymore. It's 2022, you gotta have your own shtick these days in order to make it on the internet. And I'm gonna actually show you some popular niches in people that have made it using these things today within this video. I know what you guys are thinking at this point, <laughs> Dakota, how many categories exactly are there for reptile YouTube? Well, let's talk about them together as I make them up on the spot, starting with number one, the Venom Boys. What's up guys and how the heckers are ya? Now today we are going to be handling one of the most venomous reptiles in the world and that's going to be the Golden Orbal Cobra Viper. One of the most potent ve reptiles. If this thing bites you it can kill up to 12,000 men. The, the venom is that potent. But today we are actually going to up that challenge because I'm going to be doing it without a shirt on. Let's do this. Just take a look at this incredible animal. Whoa, whoa, it's on me, guys. This could end very, very badly, but absolutely incredible. Just look at those markings. Now, not only is this animal just as venomous as the world's most de deadliest, oh my God, whoa, 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 almost the world's deadliest, but it's also, just look how thick it is, almost as thick as these pythons right here. Oh yeah, just take a look at that. Guys, this this might be it, we gotta, oh God, oh, here we go. Oh. And there you got it folks, the golden, the golden oval, co cobra viper, co did I say, cobra viper. Absolutely amazing species to work with. I'm gonna go put this back in a, in the three by two vision cage for this nine foot snake. The Venom Boys is going to probably be one of the more controversial ones that we are going to be talking about today. Now, what exactly is the Venom Tuber? When it comes to the Venom Tuber's content, they've got the two big things going for them. That's going to be the dangerous reptiles, of course, mostly getting to the venomous stuff because that is the more deadlier stuff when it comes to reptiles, and then also massive sex appeal. Let's be honest here, I mean, just look at that man. Damn boy, I'm as straight as an arrow, but... Let's be honest with ourselves, what sells most in today's society? That's going to be good looking people and dangerous acts. This is a recipe for success. However, there is a catch to it. The catch is going to be the reptile community don't like that. They don't like that one bit. Now, especially when we start talking about the venomous community. Now, I can understand this about the venomous community, man. They are a very tight niche group of people. Not a lot of people work with venomous for obvious reasons. Death is one of them. And they want to keep themselves a little more secretive. They kind of want to be off the radar because let's be honest, with today's society of ban after ban coming in, especially with reptiles, the venomous boys are the first ones to go. However, it can be very difficult staying out of the spotlight when you have good looking shirtless dudes on the internet free handling cobras. Now I know what you must be thinking at this point. It's gonna be, Dakota, why aren't you actually a venom tuber? Because let's be honest, you, you look like a, a biscuit that's been in the oven for just a little too long because you're hot. And although while I can't argue with that point whatsoever, However, there is a third thing that you are going to be needing to be a Venom Boy, and that's going to be confidence. Confidence I don't have. I'm putting my shirt back on. But hey, if you got the looks, you got the dangerous animals, and you've got the confidence to not only free handle, free handle animals, but also expose your shirtless body in front of hundreds to thousands to millions of people and be okay with that, well then, hey, maybe that category is the right one for you. Sorry, the puppies are a little loud. Hey, I get it. Not everyone has the confidence of a Greek god to be doing stuff like that. So let's get into another category that has to be one of the biggest ones on the reptile YouTuber. Hey puppers, settle down please. I'm working. Thank you. 
That has to be one of the biggest ones on the internet right now, and that is going to be the Barcheck style of Reptile YouTube. Today, guys, I am going on vacation. I am going to be leaving the entire reptile business and the entire everything that comes with it to one of my employees, Chad. That's right, folks. Chad is going to be taking over the entire business, taking care of all the animals, and handling all of the social media while I head over to Hawaii. But before we head over on vacation, make sure you guys go check out the Lizard Rebellion merch. New Lizard Rebellion merch out now. Check out this amazing design. It's always awesome. Now let's go do this. With that all said, guess it's time to head out. All right, Chad, I'm leaving now. Don't forget to check my emails, too. We'll see you in a week. Hey buddy, I accidentally forgot the uh, plane ticket while I was uh, going, so we had to come back from. Oh my God, Chad! What did, what did you do? The the place is completely on fire, Chad. All the reptiles are gone. Oh my God, they're loose everywhere. The entire place is destroyed. How could you have done this? Well, he better have at least checked those emails. <laughs> Now, do you have thousands of dollars worth of camera gear, equipment, lighting, setup, and audio? No. Have a team and or crew that'll make sure you have a revolving style of content in your videos, making sure there is never a dull moment in them? Also, no. Do you have hours on hours on end to edit those videos and have only the premium editing software to make sure they are the best of the best for your audience? I, I, no, I, I have a cell phone. I don't know what you want from me, dude. What? Brian Barczyk has been evolving the Reptile YouTube game for quite a long time. He was one of the first members on this page. He was one of the first YouTubers to do daily vlog style. And now he's evolved to this Mr. Beast aesthetic that is just incredible. Dude does a lot, let's be honest. He's got BHB, the breeding stuff. He's got the Reptarium. He's got the podcast. He's doing vlogs six days a week. He's traveling, collabing, interviews, so on and so forth. Oh, let's not forget about Animal Con. Brian Barczyk, please invite me to Animal Con. For the life of me, I cannot figure out how that man juggles all of that stuff while bringing out the best of the best production that you can get out of a reptile YouTube channel. Let's be honest with ourselves, the man's doing the best of the best in the game that we have right now. I honestly don't think anyone can do that to the level that he's doing it right now, but it really wouldn't be a reptile YouTube video, reptile reptile YouTuber video if I, I didn't mention the man himself. Okay, okay, okay. So you don't happen to have a Cobra and you also don't happen to have an entire team of crew expensive camera gear, the fill, fill, fill the, fill, per, per, the best premium software and also hours on hours to edit the most best YouTube videos that there are on YouTube. I'm gonna keep it a little more casual, I understand. Hey, I get it completely. Well, I think then this next category is gonna be the best bet for you. And that one's gonna be number three, the pet tuber. Hey all you happy time and sunshine rattlers, today we are going to be learning about the bearded dragon and why it is just such the cutest and most adorable reptile that is out there. Now bearded dragons come from somewhere in Australia and as you can see the reason why they call them bearded dragons is they have this cute little beard. Absolutely adorable guys. Now with bearded dragons, now while they may be cute and not fluffy but scaly little dudes, little, little potatoes, you gotta remember that these guys require care and that's why we are going to be going over the complete care guide of the Beardy Potato. Pet tubers, my guys, they are people that make videos about their pets, hence the name Pet Tuber. While some pet tube channels may be pretty good, while other pet tube channels may be not so good. Overall, I'd say they're pretty good for the hobby. They shine it in a pretty positive light, mainly making lighthearted videos such as enclosure builds, uh, enclosure setups, care guides, things of that nature. So they get a lot of the newcomers just coming into the reptile industry, maybe getting species such as, you know, crested geckos, leopard geckos, bearded dragons, things like that. Not knowing too much about the hobby, not knowing too much how to get in there, but hey, you can always find a snake discovery video on how to set it up, five cool facts about it, and how to properly care for it. While these people People are as, as light-hearted as you can possibly get on Reptile YouTube, they are still somewhat controversial. I wouldn't say controversial, in fact, I would just say they are um, looked down upon. It, there is a uh, stigma around the pet tuber. It's it's looked down on, it's spat on, and it's just not good by people. By people, I, I mean the 40-year-olds that are living in their basement that have the chondras and carpet pythons that are just like, oh my god, this person's making thousands of dollars a week? 
showing uh, bearded dragons, but no one wants to watch my selfie video as I talk about the Latin names of snakes that no one understands? I can't believe this! I think those are pretty much the only people that have a real issue with pet tubers. I used to have a garbage take on pet tubers years ago if you guys were over there. You will not find the video anymore. I realized it was dumb, super dumb, and I took it off the internet. It's gone. So if you were there like three years ago, then you saw it, and then I am also sorry that you had to see it. And although just like anything at life, there are good pet tubers and bad pet tubers, good takes and bad takes, but at the end of the day, you can't tell me that there is a small light in your black dead beating heart when you see Catalia feeding a deer. My god is that the most wholesome thing I will ever witness in my life. Bro, she's got like an entire ranch and is building or maybe already built it, her own reptile in a fucking building and you're gonna look down on that? Like you haven't done anything in your life and is, aren't even out of your parents' basement? Trash take, my guy. Trash take. Oh, you see a, a couple of different styles that there are in the reptile YouTube game. However, none of that stuff really matters of what I just told you because nine times out of ten, whenever you start a reptile YouTube channel, it is going to look exactly like this. Hey, hey guys, uh, my name is Dakota and welcome, welcome to the channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video around. Leave a comment and let's get into the video. Don't be too hard on yourself, my guy. It happens to absolutely everybody. You should see the videos I posted when I first started posting on here. My god. Why, why anyone would subscribe to me? Even to this day, I just do not understand. You know, four or five years that I've been keeping and doing more research. I found that a lot of the information that people are- The key of the matter is you get better every time you do it. So my biggest tip for you guys is never give up. Always keep going, no matter how bad it seems in the beginning, because you do get a little bit better. And also, stop asking people to subscribe at the very beginning, like within the first five seconds of the video. Stop asking people to subscribe. I don't know you. I don't know your content. I know there's a subscribe. We, everyone know- but, but also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. There you have it, boys and girls, some pet reptile YouTube stuff in the reptile YouTube sphere. But now, now it's your turn. Which niche are you? Or maybe you don't make a reptile YouTube channel and you just clicked on it because I put a bunch of popular faces on here to get more views. And if you're just thinking to yourself, wow, this was such a belly of laughs, Dakota, you should probably make make a part two because it, this was just so hilarious. Last time I made a like goal, you guys broke it in about eight hours, so we're gonna go for doubles this time, 200 likes, and I'll make a part two because there are definitely other YouTubers out there and there'll definitely be more stuff to make fun of and then instantly say nice things about because I'm afraid that people are going to get mad at me for making videos like this. As always, my Bimson cult, thank you so much for joining us today on this old dusty trail that I call a YouTube channel. Don't forget, we also have Patreon. It's just like this, but you pay me for it. As always, boys and girls, I guess I'll be taking this elevator down. Until next time I make a video of the dumbest stuff I can think of, check out this playlist for more stupid stuff. And goodbye. Wow, this is such a cool effect. How did he do it? Wow, this is- oh my god, the lens is too wide. <sighs> Okay guys, I know it's the end of the video and I forgot to turn the lighting setup on, but I just want to make sure we have a quick and easy disclaimer saying that there is in no way, shape, or form that I am hating on any of the creators I talked about right now. I enjoy each and every one of them, and let's be honest, I wouldn't know how to make these funnies if I didn't actually follow these YouTube channels, so I'm just gonna put this disclaimer in here. I know I'm gonna get at least one comment as someone someone saying something dumb, like, I can't believe you're you're a hater on Brian's bar, Brian Barcheck, even though I literally went on his podcast and talk up talk highly about the man even did in this video but I know someone's gonna be out there someone's gonna say I'm a I'm a Tyler Nolan hater we both know that ain't true okay guys I'll see you in the next video see you later